We begin with new details now in the aftermath of that tanker truck explosion at Route 8 and I-271 in Macedonia. The good news tonight, roads are beginning to reopen, but not all of them. Yeah, there are still questions to be answered, such as what happened and how did the truck flip over the barrier? So Matt Rascone is here with some of those answers and what roads are reopen right now, Matt? Yeah, Christy and Lena, so we're talking about the ramp from I-271 South. Uh, that goes to southbound State Route 8. That is back open. Good news for drivers there. Uh, what's still closed, though, is the ramp to get on I-271 North, and we can give you a look from the street. That's from State Route 8 and southbound lanes on Route 8 between Hines Hill Road and Highland Road. And we're still working to figure out how this tanker truck fell off that bridge. It grabbed the attention of all within sight and sound. I was driving on that same road. But among the many who passed by that day. The main function is actually, you know, to divert, you know, to, uh, you know this trust from going off. Was an assistant civil engineering professor at Case Western Reserve. But it is still smaller than, you know, the truck high, so that's why it fell off. Elias Ali told me there are four different types of concrete barriers that help to keep us on the roads. The barrier on the bridge ramp to I-271 North, where the crash happened, is the strongest kind, designed to withstand 54 kips, or 54,000 pounds of force. And if I, like, bump into it, you know, it's going to push me back. Exactly. That's the function of the barriers. But other factors like height, weight, brakes, and steering all play into it. On Saturday, officials say the truck was carrying 7,500 gallons of diesel fuel. Ali said adding a guardrail on top and reducing the speed limit could help prevent similar crashes. That impact load for designing of this battery, the 54 kips load, is way smaller compared to what just happened. The driver, Jason Stevens, was a husband and father and an employee at Keenan Advantage Group based in North Canton. The company said their thoughts and prayers are with his family, friends, and co-workers. Our primary concern has always been for the safety and security of our employees, the public, our customers, and the environment. This is an exceedingly difficult time for our organization as this tragedy impacts all of us in the KAG family. And we should note that we still don't know what other factors may have contributed to this crash. The sheriff's office is investigating, but they have not gotten back to us with an update uh, yet. And ODOT continues to inspect the bridge, Lena. All right, and our thoughts are with the Stevens family as well. Matt Rascone, thank you.